Created in the early 1920s, Pilates is a great way to increase muscle strength, endurance, and flexibility, along with improving posture, see I just sat up there, and balance. Welcome to Celebrate Michigan, the show produced on the campus of Madonna University. I'm Chris Benson. Along with one of her top instructors, today's guest will be talking about and sharing her love of Pilates and the journey to opening her own Pilates business, Warehouse Pilates. Welcome Keisha Quinn and Jessica Giroux to the show today. So glad to have you with us. Thank you for having Thank us. Thank you. So you chose Pilates. Mm -hmm. Tell me how you got to be connected to Pilates and how it has become your love. Well, I started doing Pilates when I had my son 20 years ago, 21 years ago. And although I lost the weight, I was just not feeling connected with my body. And so I started doing the videos. So Windsor Pilates, started doing videos and those videos were wonderful. And then I took a mat class at a gym. And within about six weeks, my hairstylist said, you look different today, like you're standing taller. And that's when I realized it does work. So by that point, it's an addiction now. It's working. And then I discovered the equipment. So mat Pilates is very different than equipment Pilates, which is what we teach at our studio. And I fell in love with it. So from that point, I was addicted now to something new that was helping my body get stronger, helping me see that longer, leaner muscle that I was always wanting. And then from there, I just kept going. I did my teacher training. And at that point, after the training, I kept telling my husband, I think I can open a business, I can do this. And that's how we got there. That's the first part of that journey. Oh my gosh, and mm -hmm. congratulations, by the way. You know, did you ever think you'd be a small business owner? Never. Oh no, my I gosh. didn't see that for myself. Wow, yeah. and you are, that's fantastic. I am, yeah, it's pretty fantastic. Wonderful, okay, so then how did you get connected to Pilates? So I have a best friend who knows Keisha, and um, she kind of introduced me to Keisha, brought me to the studio, and I was a gymnast my whole life growing up, and from injury I had to quit, and I had a hard time finding a form of exercise that made my body feel as good as gymnastics did with all the core strength and stuff like that, and kind of fell in love with Pilates through that. And it's have been me, there since. Yep, it's made me feel great, so. Wonderful, yeah. well tell us about the studio. Where is it and, and what could I find there? Yes, so we have two studios. So I opened my first one in Northville in 2016 okay. and then the second one just opened June of last year in South Lyon. They're both like in, centrally located within the cities. Mm -hmm. There are 12 reformers in each class. So we do group reformer classes. The reformers are the big machines that look like contraptions can be a little bit scary and intimidating, but they're, they're the original um, apparatuses that were created by Joseph Pilates. Um, so we do reformer, we do some mat, we do some TRX, but our whole goal is that we are doing just that. We wanna make sure we're helping women and men get stronger, creating those, you know, kind of helping them rehabilitate in, to, in a sense. And then as Jess can attest, helping you get stronger from your injuries or helping you get stronger in your practice, helping you become a better gymnast, better soccer player, better golfer, a better tennis player. So that's what we're doing in both of those studios. We have 12 instructors be t um, total. And so each of our instructors are highly trained. They have 500 hours of training. 500 hours? 500 hours wow. of training, yes. And we're very serious about that. We wanna make sure that these instructors are trained so they can help you with, with your injuries, help you with modifications, help you understand your body and how it should be moving. And I love that you represent the spectrum of, it sounds like you came to it just as like, I wanna pick this up and, and learn how to mm -hmm. you know feel better in my body. Right. And then you're talking about coming from like a gymnast perspective and it sounds like there's an entry point for everyone. Yes. Would you agree? 100%, yeah. I think you can start from anywhere and work your way up to your goal of what you wanna get out of it. And yeah, there's a level for everybody in Pilates and you can modify and make things harder and easier. Yeah, yeah. we'll meet you where you're at. I think the equipment is fascinating to me because you mentioned Windsor Pilates and before the show we were, <laughs> we were um, commiserating or you know bonding about this because I can remember seeing the DVDs advertised mm -hmm. back in the day you know and thinking oh maybe I'll try that and then trying it and you know no equipment involved just the body and being really impressed with like how strong I felt yes. just from these movements and I couldn't do them for hours it was just a couple minutes but now you're saying 
there's all this equipment, and that actually was part of the original intent, because you mentioned Joseph Flatty. Yes. Talk about that a little. Like, um, It does look like torture devices. There was a really funny episode on Saturday Night Live recently about it. <laughs> <laughs> that talked, and so tell us about yeah. these this equipment. So the original equipment for Joseph, that Joseph Pilates created, well, it's back up. First, yeah. Pilates was created to rehabilitate the German, sol German soldiers during the war. Really? And so the first, let's say, reformer was actually a bed, and he, a hospital bed. He created contraptions to help them move their bodies. So wow. putting you know, your feet, like a traction kind of situation, where yes. you're in traction, your neck's in traction, it's kind of like that. And so then once he got to the United States, he opened his first studios in upstate New York. Upstate New York? Yes. And then his, he started having studios in the city. And at that point, those studios were to rehabilitate dancers. Oh, wow. So you'll have, and famously, like Cicely Tyson was one of his, his really? clients. Really? Yes. Oh, my gosh. So pe they were there to fix, rehabilitate dancers. Mm -hmm. For so long, it was one of those exercises or a practice that was just um, not accessible to everyone because historically it's a very expensive form of exercise. So whereas you may see yoga, which is more accessible financially, sure. Pilates historically was not. An evolution began to occur like over in the past 10 years of where before Pilates was always just a one-on-one -on -one or maybe two people at one time, mm -hmm. um, it began to come into group and that makes it more accessible, financially oh, wow. accessible. And so even with our studio, when I opened the studio in 2016, I wanted there to be an exercise that people could afford to do. I, it just removed that barrier. Mm -hmm. So you can't say I can't go because I can't afford it, because now it's financially accessible. The equipment itself, it's big, it's, you know, we have um, the machines. Yeah. We also have um, a replication of the Cadillac, which is a big box, looks, yes. looks kind of scary, um, <laughs> but it's not. So the original equipment was a reformer, the Cadillac, the spine corrector, which sounds very scary. Yeah, these all sound really scary, know, right? <laughs> <laughs> and you guys seem so nice. No? <laughs> <laughs> a ladder barrel, and so we use some of those tools, whether it be in our privates, but our group classes are a reformer. Oh my gosh. Well, this is all, you're really helping make this very accessible and comfortable. Mm -hmm. um, and we have to take a short break, but when we come back, we're going to hear more about Warehouse Pilates and uh, make you feel a little more comfortable with it. So maybe you'll be inclined to stretch out. See you soon. Everybody has a dream. Mine was to see the ocean. And with a little help, I made it. <laughs> Maria, this is how it's worked. Fourth period biology. Our students just weren't getting how easily viruses spread. So Ms. Bell and I had them role play a zombie virus outbreak. By the time they had all learned the lesson, all the living were dead. Hey, how's your job going? That big sales meeting I planned? Next year, I might get to go. <clears throat> cool. They call me Prince like I'm royalty or something. But the places I've lived ain't no palaces. So I don't need grilled salmon or a new scratching post. Just give me a cardboard box and a can of tuna and we're good. You can even change my name. I'm cool being the kitty formerly known as Prince. Do you like this top? It's so gay. Really? Yeah, it's totally gay. You know, you really shouldn't say that. <sighs> say what? Well, say that something's gay when you mean it's bad. It's insulting. 
What if every time something was bad, everybody said, oh, that's so girl wearing a skirt as a top. Oh, you are. <laughs> <laughs> Those are cute jeans, though. When you say that's so gay, do you realize what you say? Knock it off. Welcome back to Celebrate Michigan. I'm Chris Benson, and joining me today is Keisha Quinn and Jessica Giroux from Warehouse Pilates. Um, and we were in the last segment, you were telling us about all the cool equipment and um, the history of Pilates. So tell me about the type of classes that you offer at the studios. Okay. So at the studio, we have group reformer. With them, there's misconceptions that Pilates is all stretching, but we have cardio classes. Oh. We have a core and glutes class, which is a advanced class, it really gets in there, it does exactly what it's supposed to do, it hits those big muscle groups. And then we have a beginner classes as well. Um, we have classes that focus on just kind of that, that more stretchiness, mm -hmm. you'll see that. But for the most part, all of our classes are designed to meet everyone where they are. We offer those modifications and we have nice good music so it's a good tempo in there. It's not like this quiet, sleepy place. We're listening to, you know, the yeah. regular music on the radio. Sometimes we're singing, but we're all sweating. Um, and our spaces are very beautiful. Oh, wow. That's something I'm very proud of. Oh. Very beautiful spaces. Well, and we're very lucky because we have some video to show our viewers mm -hmm. so they can get a glimpse of what it's like to be at Warehouse Pilates. And we'll show that now. All right. Well, awesome. Mm. What a fun, uh, well, not fun. <laughs> what is the word I want to say? Um, so it looked easy. So what do you think is one of the most common misconceptions about Pilates? Because I looked at that, I'm like, hey, I could do that. It's, you know, it's not going to be that hard. Yeah. So tell me about it. That it's easy. <laughs> oh, man, shoot. I was hoping you were going to tell me no. it wasn't going to be a lot of work. No, so everyone, I think they're, well, that first class, you agree. They come mm -hmm. into this, come in, they're thinking this is going to be really easy. And it's not because we're not used to moving our muscles in that in that manner. We're not used to moving our bodies in that manner. You're not used to holding the lunge. You're not used to saying, I'm gonna press my arms and do a, a crunch at the same time. So it's very challenging. So it's, it is more difficult than it looks. Then. Absolutely. Okay, so what if I watched that segment and I'm like, that looks too hard for me. There's no way I could do that. What would you say to that person? Well, we invite you with open arms and we'll take you to where you are available. Um, I don't think anybody should be scared. Mm -hmm. Like you said, I came into Pilates the first time. I was like, oh, this is going to be easy. Like, I can do it. And I have never been more sore in my life. <laughs> um, Pilates is done very controlled and precise. Like, we move slower mm -hmm. than normal exercise. I feel like a lot of times in an exercise class, people like to move fast, get their heart rate up, and I think the slower controlled movements make it that much better and it just becomes deeper, a deeper form of exercise. What ages of people do you see at your studio? Oh, that's the beauty of it. So we range from early 20s all the way up to 60s, 70s. Oh, wow. So Pilates is meant to be an exercise you can do for the rest of your life. For as long as you're moving and living, you can do Pilates. Um, it's easy on the joints. Um, we have the cardio because you need that. We have the strength conditioning, which you need that. So it's an, an age range. It's not just like for a younger group or older group. And so do you have a time of day that's busier than others? When When is the busy time of day? Mm. I feel like every, mm. every day. <laughs> every day, all the time. <laughs> time. <laughs> Studio is very busy. It's a very busy space. Um, we have 12 reformers at one time, and we have four to five classes in the morning. 
then two classes in the evening. And so we're constantly busy um, all day, even between the two studios. And so you both teach, I understand, too. Yes, so I was asking do. you before the yep. show, mm -hmm. um, tell us about your day today. So just as an example of what it's like to teach or work at the studio, how many classes did you teach and how many hours today? So we'll start. So I taught this morning. I teach a 6.30 and a 7.30 in the morning. So I normally get up around 4.30, head there around 5, open the studio up, get ready to teach and move. And our clients have made it feel like a community. So it's very welcoming and everyone chats amongst each other and mm -hmm. everyone's very sweet. And it's a great way to start my day. And it doesn't sound like, you, you mentioned the welcoming piece, it doesn't mm -hmm. sound like there's a lot of judginess there. No. It sounds like I can just come as I am, and mm -hmm. as long as I have an attitude to want to try things, mm -hmm. that, that's where I need to be. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so tell me about your day today. Oh, my day is a different day every day. <laughs> um, so I started, I taught this morning as well, so 6 o'clock, 6.30, taught my class, and then I ran and did all of my like business stuff. I am still running a business, so yeah. I'm teaching and running a business. And then here I am. When I get home tonight, I'll go back and I'll keep doing more of the computer. Mm -hmm. there's, a, there's an aspect between being an instructor, so being yeah. in the business and running the business, and so I wear both hats mm -hmm. of that. And so sometimes I'll teach three or four hours a day as well. But we do have a community, and our clients have found friendships there, and that's what makes our space so special. Mm -hmm. And that's what people get there and they're happy. And support. I think, you know, as any of us, um, and maybe all of us, you know, you're, you want to try something. You want to, mm -hmm. again, I really appreciated what you said about feeling good in your body, you mm -hmm. know, and you know when you don't and you want to get back to that feeling. Right. And it sounds like that's something that you definitely provide. Absolutely. Absolutely. And our space is, a, is one that people feel loved and encouraged. So we're very happy at Warehouse Pilates. Awesome. Well, we have to take another short break, but we'll be right back to learn what the future holds for Warehouse Pilates. Stay tuned. <laughs> Flip six stairs takes determination. So will getting into college. I've got what it takes. So do you. Life's this hard? It's no wonder 7,000 students drop out every school day. Visit BoostUp.org and help kids in your community stay in school. read every night to all the younger kids and let your imagination break free you won't believe how much fun it can be let down your <laughs> experience a world of adventure <laughs> excitement <laughs> and endless possibilities get tangled up in a good book explore new worlds read visit read.gov today Welcome back to Celebrate Michigan. I'm Chris Benson, and again, I'm with Keisha Quinn and Jessica Giro from Warehouse Pilates. So we'd love to hear, um, you know, you mentioned that you are a small business owner. How exciting mm -hmm. that is and, and the journey to get there. 
Now, of course, you did it. You've got two studios, and I'm going to ask you what, what do you see in the future and not what's next, because maybe it's not about more, but just what do you see for the future of your business? Well, I do see more. Um, so ultimately, the studio will continue to grow in terms of having more locations, um, continuing to create and develop you know, great instructors. We have a teacher training program, so we'll oh, continue. Fantastic to promote that and continue just to provide excellent training. Um, and then also, we see ourselves continuing to be more of a stronghold in the community. How can we help others? And so one of our initiatives is that we're working with Vista Maria, oh. which is you know a home for, and so how do we support great organizations, uh, great organizations that are more heavily driven for women? Mm -hmm because we need to have our space. We need to make sure that women are supported. So I'm a female, I run a female-owned business, and most of our instructors except for one is a male. Mm -hmm. um, so we're here to help women and to help them feel safe and comfortable. And on that topic, I imagine as, as teachers, you uh, encounter a lot of different people that come in. Would you just share a story maybe of someone who you can remember working with and this, this just charges you up. We all have those people in our business or those experiences in our time and our career and mm -hmm. our calling where we meet or we work with someone and it's like, this keeps me going every day. Mm -hmm. Anything you'd like to share about that? Anything come to mind? Well, I do. So um, I've had the studio for, for, I don't know, seven years now. So I've met a lot of men and women. And one that stands out to me because for whatever reason, as women, we're always on this journey to lose weight. I don't know. Although we look just fine, yes. we're perfectly yes. fine, perfectly healthy. Um, she really was on this journey. And to watch where she started to where she is, it wasn't just about the, the change of her body and physically, it was the strength that she got, that she just became stronger, she became more confident. And so before she was always quiet and to herself, and to see her now, it's just like a butterfly. She's more confident, more comfortable. Mm -hmm. And that's what's important. Mm -hmm. um, on the flip side, we've had clients who have lost parents, lost family, lost friends, and they're, whether we know it or not, our spaces are a space of where they're healing. Mm -hmm. And we may not know for a year that they've been healing for a whole year. And then they'll tell us. And that's what reminds us, this is why we're there. We're not there to you know, be the, the sexiest of whatever, but we're there to help you grow and be whole and be healthy and be happy. And what so. a gift that is to another human mm -hmm. to help them see their own strength. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Thinking about your work, you know, you, you teach all the classes and, and those kind of things. So thinking about that, what do you get from that experience of working with people? There's the gift that you give them, but then what right. do you get from it? So when clients come in and they're like, oh, I have this injury, I'm trying to feel better, or I feel weak and, you know, I'm, I don't know where to start, and we help them and then they start coming in and they come up to you and they're like, I feel so strong and I'm feeling better and, like, my body doesn't hurt anymore, and it just brings joy to you. Like, you're like, you know that you helped them get there and, yeah. Right. Awesome. It sounds like a wonderful place. I know people want to check it out. Where can they find you um, online or social media? Where can they look for you? So we're both on Facebook and Instagram, and we're Warehouse Pilates, nice and simple. And our um, website is warehousepilates.com. Okay. We're located in downtown Northville, mm -hmm. um, in the Northville Square building. And then in South Lyon, we're on Pontiac Trail, basically next to Bushes. So oh, we're, we're, very, we're very easy to find. Um, we're always active on our social media. You can always send us an email and we always respond back. What advice would you give um, as a, a woman who, again, you started out with something, tried it, it became a passion, and mm -hmm. then you wound up opening a small business to, to mm. support. What advice would you give to, to women who are watching and saying, oh, maybe I can do that? Um, you definitely have to trust and have confidence in yourself because some days I'm running like a crazy person and so you having a strong support system makes a world of difference. So for my personal, it's my husband and my son, they're with me all the time and they're very supportive. But then also I have my amazing instructors that keep the whole show going. But just have the confidence. Don't worry about, do I have the funding? Don't worry about, you know, is it gonna be, it's going to be great, but just have the confidence to just try it and to do it. 
And what would you say to someone who, you know, again, you talk about people recovering from injury and when, mm -hmm. or surgery, you know, like things that different yeah. happen, things that happen in life, right. just life events, where they might think, I'm never going to be where I was, mm -hmm. or there's no hope. What would you say to them? Trust your body. Um, allow yourself to start from square one, and nobody's going to judge you. Like, movement is going to heal you. Um, yeah. And when you think about the future of Pilates itself, you know, you talk about this coming from like where it started mm -hmm. to where it is now, that has had to be an incredible amount of change that has occurred. Absolutely. Um, and a lot of the change has been driven by social media. Yeah. So when we started in 2016, social media was not really, a, it was a yeah. thing, but it wasn't yeah. really. And so every client that we, that came to us at that point, it was truly like word of mouth or just a hard, now with social media, people can literally start a business on a Monday and it's booming on a Friday wow. because they're feeding through that. Um, so that's the evolution. That is where this is going. Um, the more you see like where TikTok and yeah. celebrities yeah. are like, I do Pilates, more people want it. Well, I have a feeling just getting to know the two of you, though, that what makes the businesses last is the heart and the mm -hmm. care behind it. So it's been such a pleasure having you on the show today. Thank you for, for teaching me about Warehouse Pilates. I'll have to check it out. And um, our audience as well. Thank you for having thank us. Thank you Wonderful. so much. Thank you. Well, thank you again to our guests for joining us. And thank you for watching Celebrate Michigan, where we celebrate all the great things that happen in the Mitten State. We'll see you next time. Take care. <laughs>